Governor, before you got here, Speaker Houston or Senator Houston said there's been a failure of leadership in the budget process so far, and people hadn't made tough decisions. He said the Senate hadn't hadn't either, but they were going to. Do you agree with that? There's been a lack of leadership in the budget process. Uh, failure of leadership. Mm, I don't. I don't agree with that. What do you have to add to that? How would you assess the leadership capabilities here? He's saying it's weak. And well, I'm not going to get into a back and forth with, with, uh, with the former speaker. I don't think that accomplishes anything. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, just, I just don't think that's helpful to the process to, to engage in that kind of back and forth. So I don't want to participate in it. Yeah. The racetrack owners were over the State House today calling upon you and legislators to adopt the slots plan. Again, today, back again this morning. What, what would you tell them? These are the racetrack owners across the state of Ohio. Well, uh, I would tell them what I had told them uh, several times in the past, uh, that my position remains unchanged, and that I uh, do not believe that this is uh, the right way for Ohio to deal with our budget or to try to fund education. Or, um, uh, I think uh, the people of our state have spoken on this issue clearly multiple times and uh, uh, until the people will change their mind about the issue then I uh, am supporting um, what I believe to be the will of the people of Ohio. Governor, what do you plan to work against the casino ballot issue this year? Well, I certainly as governor have a responsibility to uh, to express my opinion about this matter and, and other important matters facing our state and I, I will do that directly and as clearly as I can. Do you sense the issue, the idea of putting, allowing local voters to put an issue on the ballot for restaurants and bars in the neighborhood? Well, you know, I really think that if that if expanded gambling happens in Ohio, um, county lines or, or geographic uh, uh, lines will will not matter very much. So um, it's sort of a creative idea uh, on, on the part of the uh, proponents, but uh, but I, I don't think it's it's uh, reasonable to uh, to assume that that would be sufficient protection for the voters of Ohio to have a voice. Well, you know, I I I, I I've got a, enough problems to deal with in the near term. I try not to anticipate. To, uh, to or, or to look too far into the future when it comes to what um, legislative actions may take place. Governor, so, describe the conversations you're having with Senate Democrats and Republicans about, uh, call it what you want, a compromise, EBM, a way to, for everybody to be mutually dissatisfied, perhaps? Well, I can only tell you what I've, you know, what I have shared with, uh, with uh, Senator Harris. Um, and I have said to him, more than one occasion, that I understand that uh, this budget, uh, although it is now in the Senate, is a shared responsibility, and that I uh, am willing to uh, work with him and others uh, to try to find uh, some answers to these very, very difficult circumstances. And uh, so uh, that's that's the attitude that I that I have. I think it's the appropriate. Um, approach for me to take and uh, so uh, I I understand that both parties both chambers and uh, all branches of government have a shared responsibility in dealing with these very difficult circumstances and the decisions that will have to be made to uh, to deal with them appropriately sure. what about I believe uh, chairman Kerry's suggestion that it uh, that EBM be steady for a, a couple of more years and uh, to get through this budget cycle it's not acceptable to me I think this issue has been studied uh, and studied and studied and it is as I've said in my most recent comment in there it's time for action and uh, uh, I think we ought not to allow uh, these budget issues to diminish our commitment to transforming and reforming our schools. Uh, Senator Houston also t told this group that the Senate would put out a very different education plan and that yours wasn't sustainable. Do you think you can prevail in the conference committee if something uh, 180 <laughs> degrees different than yours comes out of there? 
Well, uh, I don't know what's going to happen in the conference committee, um, so I don't, I don't want to make a projection um, or a, uh, a prophecy related to that. But I can tell you that uh, um, my plan is, sustain is sustainable if, in fact, we have a commitment to our children and to our schools and to educating uh, our young people. Uh, and uh, so that's my position. I think it's, uh, it's one that I've stated before. Uh, the issue is, is commitment uh, and uh, whether or not we understand that if Ohio is going to be a successful state, uh, we must uh, uh, reform and transform our schools and we must do this now. Too much time has already passed. 412 million is that the? Okay, so uh, tell me about that. It was, it was a little more than what you thought it was going to be, right? Well, I told I told Senator Harris when when I first talked with him about the uh, April figures that, that it could be a billion dollars. Uh, that we were unsure of the exact number because of the um, um, need to you know to get the final. Um, resources as they came in, as, as well as to then look ahead for the next two months to try to determine uh, as, as close as we can what the tax revenues uh, are likely to be. And uh, $912 million is, is, uh, is uh, what we concluded was likely to be the shortfall. Are you gonna, how are you going to deal with that? Well, it's something that we we must do in a shared way, but uh, I think the most reasonable way to deal with that uh, at this point is, is to uh, uh, use the rainy day fund. But th that, that's something that I will work with the legislature to, uh, to try to resolve. When we would describe the shortfall, should we just sub be subtracting the $150 million in savings that you've already identified? Um, you know, I don't think so. I, th I think, um, Allison, you may want to help me with that, but, but I think the $912 million is without calculating the, uh, the savings. I think that's the case, but I, I have, to, have to clarify that to make sure. The governor mentioned the third frontier in there. Is mm -hmm. that something that you would like to see on the uh, November ballot? Well, that's something that we would, would have to agree upon. Um, and uh, but it's something that I uh, I would look positively toward church certainly this for this November election? for this November election yes any plans yes. in the in the works for well uh, you know I <clears throat> I don't want to get ahead of my uh, legislative colleagues uh, of either party or of either chamber so um, is is that something that I uh, uh, would look forward to discussing with them. Uh, yes, but uh, but I don't want to I don't want to jump out in front and uh, start a discussion that's not yet uh, uh, you know that we're not yet ready for. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.